Hello, welcome to the six o'clock news. Um, anyway, first this evening, the government has announced a new scheme which is to help encourage youngsters to pursue a career in TV presenting with people named Matthew getting extra support. Well, we're going to go to the new media minister who has a lot of experience with presenting the news. OK. I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry, no. Oh, ah. ah, well, it just looks like Mr Morgan will not be talking to us today. Anyway, in a minute, we are about to get an interview with a high-class bunch of presenters. But first, our media correspondent, Matthew, is outside the ITV studios with more on this story. Matthew. Yes, thank you, Matthew. Well, just on the other side of this wall is the ITV studios. ITV is the top channel. Uh, where it comes to presenters, it has the most presenters than any other channel and they're on the decline in recent years. So, Big Boris has today announced a whopping £300 million to go into this brand new scheme for TV presenters. So the money will go to increase the number of talent spotters across college and uh, YouTube with teenagers and young adults being the main focus of this brand new scheme. Um, figures for the Office for National Statistics states that presenters are on the decline and the government wants them to return to entertain the nation. He also said on a personal note that he enjoys watching Holly and Phil in the morning. Well, a lot of political parties have had their uh, views on this, with Labour criticising the government, saying that they should be putting the money towards much more important things like our NHS. The Conservatives responded to this very, very quickly, saying they are anti-entertainment. The Green Party also stated that only vegans should be presenting anything on TV, while the Liberal Democrats had only two words, saying stop Brexit. We'll be back in a year's time to see how we got on, how it's getting on with this brand new scheme. Matt. Thank you very much, Matthew for that report. OK, Matt, a few key skills for being a news anchor is someone who has excellent verbal, written and interviewing skills. An anchor needs to be ready to think on their feet in certain interviews or if there's a breaking news story, the producer may give you the info straight away which you will need to absorb and get out to the public in the best way possible. And one last thing, this goes for all types of presenting, but being comfortable and relaxed in front of the camera is very important. You need to own it and be confident on what you're presenting, as people will smell out nervousness in no time and it doesn't make you look so good. Game show. Right, Matt. A very important factor that you need when being a game show presenter is being charming and friendly. With having a smile and being energetic, you will get your audience to love you as much as the show. Engagement's also very important with the contestants and the audience, and if the audience loses interest in you, then you're in trouble. Hello and welcome to Matt's Game Show, where people have to try and guess as many types of something that I ask for. For example, the different types of dogs you can name in 30 seconds. And as the rounds go on, the time gets shorter and your team has the chance to win up to £100,000. We'll meet our team in a minute, but first let's get the first question. The most liked presenters of the 21st century. Just saying, if you want to go through to the next round, you'll know what the first answer will be. Who's first? 
Matt, if you're really interested in presenting, then you have to start at the bottom and work your way up. And for a lot of presenters, that starts off with children's TV. Like Philip Schofield, Anton Deck, Stephen Mulhern. Remember how to address your audience. They are all most likely going to be under the age of seven. So it's important that you speak very clearly as your audience has small ears. And you need to act almost like a child, but a responsible child to engage with your audience as best as you can. Hey everybody, it's Matt here. I hope you're doing okay. Firstly, we're going to do our fact of the day. Mm. And today's fact, I'm going to give you a little clue. We do it at least, or must at least try and do it twice a day. It makes us have a lovely white smile. Have you guessed right? Brushing your teeth. So, now the fact's over, we are now going to go and have a little bit of a story time. There once was a boy called Matthew. And he was lost. He didn't know where he was going with his life, but also on his trail that he was um, walking on just a, a lonely path in the forest. But it was very, very cold. He made sure he had a big woolly hat on just to keep it nice and warm. And he stumbled across, well, he stumbled across the ITV studios where he asked if they had any presenting roles. And the head of the ITV commissioning said, of course, we need someone to um, come on to this morning. So, um, yeah, he got his, he finally found himself in life. And also, he found his way home. And there we go, that is story time. So our first poem is called Boring, Boring, Boring. There's nothing left for me to do. I'm bored of them, I'm bored of you. I'm bored of staying up in my room, I'm bored of going shopping too. I'm bored of sleep, I'm bored with bed, I'm bored of all the food I've fed. I'm bored out of my boring head, I feel as if I'm boring dead. I'm bored of clouds, I'm bored with rain, I'm bored of my computer game. I'm bored that everything's the same, I'm bored of being bored again. I'm bored of writing boring rhymes about my boring, boring times. And so I'll finish. Finally, while we cannot predict the future of broadcasting, I would say that much more will be on demand. While for presenters, YouTube could become a new and different way of getting jobs in TV. For example, Joe Tasker, Adam Beals, who started out on YouTube, are now in children's TV. And the great thing about YouTube is you can do anything. How you come across is so important. People are watching because of you. And if you don't keep their attention, they'll click away quickly. Yo guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be giving you a string of impressions from famous people game. And you have to try and guess who the person is. Before we get into the video, please subscribe. To my channel give this video a like and how, how are you doing today are you okay ask yourself are you okay then ask yourself are you really okay 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 now as we know there are a lot of celebrities in this world and i've only picked it down to a few and you've got to try and guess who they are this is pretty easy to answer it but we're gonna start <clears throat> There's somebody here, I've got a Satsuma from the canteen. The juiciness of it is refreshing to the palate and it's proper scranite, proper ding dan do. We're gonna build a wall between Russia and China. We have the strongest army. Army? I'm going Irish. The best nukes. We're gonna make America great again, that's all I can say. I'm about to you get a piece for a new blue, blue passport. We are saying go to work, uh, go to work, work, but don't go outside. Don't leave your home, but go to work outside, but don't go. 
inside. Well, uh, I, I, I had a vegan, vegan sausage roll. Um, it, it, it was absolutely disgusting. Uh, Prime Minister, how do you see the economy bouncing back in years to come? Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. We're good. 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 So there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. If only, please subscribe. And I will see you all very, very soon. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, WhatsApp. Everything.